Hey everyone, what's up? Newbie Snake here. How are you all doing today? So, I'm very excited for this event mission because I've been waiting for this one ever since it first came out a few months ago. The reason why I'm excited is because the 5 star Skabuto that you get from this event is the only unit in the game so far that can use an offensive healing type skill. And I find that quite a few bosses are weak against healing type skills and apparently this Kabuto is the only one that can use a healing type attack so far. So I hope you guys are as excited as I am and let's get started. Alright so we have three criterias as usual. The first one you will need to achieve the S rank rating uh, at the end of the mission. Uh, second one, you need to complete the whole battle within 70 rounds. Lastly, uh, you cannot have anyone die in your team, uh, including your friend. Okay? So, uh, if you clear this mission for the first time, you'll be getting the 5 stars Kabuto, uh, the one I was just mentioning to you guys about. Uh, once you completed all three criteria, you'll be able to get the 5 stars gacha ticket. Alright? And then here are the drops. Uh, the available drops that uh, that can drop when you're doing the mission. Okay, so for the criteria, I actually needed to uh, play this mission twice in order to complete this. Uh, for the first for the first time, um, I was able to complete the first one uh, where I get the S rank rating, and then not having anyone die in my team. Uh, but I could not complete the second one uh, because it took me way too long to complete uh, this whole mission. All right, so what I did was I kind of played it really safe so I grinded out uh, so that none of my team, uh, no one in my team dies and then I was able to achieve an S rank rating, right? Uh, the second time around I really just wanted to aim for a 70 turn uh, clear so I actually had to use two gems, uh, two ninja stones to uh, revive my team. Sorry, I just used one. Sorry, I just used one. One Ninja Stone to uh, revive my team so that I can complete it within 70 turns. All right. So if I get lucky this time, then I'll be able to complete all three criteria for you uh, at once. If not, then I will only be able to show you guys the S rank one and then the, the one without dying. All right. Then just try to use. And then I'll tell you what I used to achieve the 70 turns, all right? Then you probably have to spend some stones for it. All right, so let's go. And for this mission, what you need is AoE attacks, all right? You have to use AoE attacks. Oh, sorry, let me go through the weaknesses with you. Sorry about that, totally forgot. Anyways, um, so his minions... Um, you don't really need to, uh, you know, pay too much attention. Uh, they are actually weak against all, uh, all jutsu types. All right, all skill types. So Kabuto, he is actually weak against summoning uh, skills, summoning type jutsu, and then he's strong against genjutsu, um, electric type, time space jutsu, um, unique type. A tai Tzu suit, the secret type or the bloodline limit, uh, like Shikamaru, right? And um, Sharingan and the miscellaneous type or the no type, all right? And he's immune to healing type. Well, if so, if you're using Kabuto uh, to try to attack this Kabuto, he's immune, all right? And uh, so far, I don't have anyone that does summoning to suit that actually deals a high uh you know high amount of damage so i'm just not going to bother with this i'm just going to use um units that he is not strong against to fight uh to fight against him all right and uh, here are the skills he'll be using he's mostly going to be using um healing type attack uh healing type attacks on you and then there's a uh, Genjutsu right here. And he has a chance, well actually he has uh, a chance to to paralyze your whole team in one turn. Like, yeah, he's just going to use one skill and try to make everyone paralyzed. So let's go.
All right, so what I'm looking for right now is a Hashirama friend. That's what I used to uh, to clear the S rank rating as well as the the last one where no one in your team can die. All right, so let's see. Still trying to look for it. Oh man, he just showed up uh, a while ago. So give me a quick second here. All right, so here he is, Hashirama, all right? So that's um, his equipment. So we have the attack increased by 60%, and then the wood type skill damage increased by 20%, all right? And the chakra uh, item here, after every action, you recover 5% of your chakra. and. This one uh, is actually uh, good for the Minato mission that I'll show you guys, uh, you know, later on. Okay, so I'm just going to choose him. And then this is actually the team that I'm using because you will actually be needing quite a lot of uh, AoE attacks. But I find that, you know, with my Jiraiya and Hashirama, that should do it. And then I have the usual buffer uh you know the support character i mean to buff my whole team's defense and then i've tsunade to heal and uh naruto to deal damage all right so if you guys don't have naruto um or jiraiya use two other units that actually does high aoe damage and i'll show you my jiraiya so jiraiya so far uh he has the best aoe damage he actually does seven percent plus 600 damage um a lot of other units they only do like what five percent plus 400 or seven percent plus 400 so far i think he is the highest uh at least for the units i have if you guys have pain like the exclusive pain then feel free to use him right because he does insane amount of damage he does seven percent plus a thousand five hundred or something right or five percent plus a thousand five hundred so that's a that's really high um, I think that's higher than him. So, or use your Madara. Madara plus it's uh, seven percent plus a thousand, right? So, if you guys have better units than I do, then feel free to use Pain and Madara. All right. Okay, so um, I'll just quickly show you guys. I'm not gonna spend too much time on this uh, since it's the same as my past videos. So, attack up by sixty percent, and then a large chance of not getting paralyzed uh maximum hp decreased by 10 percent chakra cost decreased by nine percent and then we have this life leech item and for magara same setup so the main thing you guys just really need to know is uh size picture book all right it's really useful um he prevents your te team from getting paralyzed right and you actually do need this item for this mission because if you don't kill off Kabuto's minions uh, before they you know they attack they have a large chance to paralyze your uh, team so Kabuto can paralyze your team and every single one of his minions can paralyze your team all right oh let me just quickly equip uh, the things for him too so I need to equip my chakra items uh, for him I just had it equipped on my on my Tachi. All right. Okay, so right there, uh, there we have it. And let's just get started. All right. So we finally have this running part. Oh, 
All right, so I was able to get it, um, you know, uh, perfect. But uh, as you can see, my chakra bars are not really filled, but um, it's all right. Okay, so I'm just going to use Gaia to buff my team. And then I'll start using uh, skill number one. Uh, the reason why I'm not using skill number two is because he, uh, his buff, his defense buff, only buffs it by 50%. And it's going to override my previous buff by Gara, which is uh, increase my whole team's defense by 150%. So I'll take a lot of damage. So, you know, only do it if like only use your skill number two if you're gonna do it before uh you use gara's buff or else you're just putting yourself at risk all right so i'm just gonna heal because he does quite a high damage and also the reason why you want to use skill one is because it does aoe damage and kabuto summons um two minions right at his first turn all right so it's my second turn now but when he first reaches the standby and an action uh bar right here down below uh he's gonna summon two guys and then afterwards he's gonna summon two more guys so you want to take them out as fast as possible or else when it gets uh you know really hectic you're gonna have a really hard time dealing with it even with size picture book uh equipped on you uh i i still get uh paralyzed quite a lot so you want to kill them off before they do anything to you, all right? All right, so that won't kill them. Um, but too bad my Jirai does not have enough um, chakra right now to do anything. Mm, let's see. I'm thinking whether or not I should use my AoE attack on Gara. Yeah, hmm. yeah, let's see. To make it safe, maybe I will use it. Because he's about to summon the other two um, very soon. Okay, and their speed's down. Awesome. So I was able to clear it out. And then he's about to summon the other two, I believe. Let's see. Yep. So here we go. We're gonna We're gonna use another AoE attack. Oh shoot, I forgot to use my heal uh, with Tsunade. My bad. So I was supposed to use the heal or else my Naruto was gonna die, right? If um Kabuto hits him next. All right. So I'm gonna use my AOE attack, but um, too bad my friend does not have size picture book, so that's why he is paralyzed right now, as you can see uh, up here. And then I'm not able to use my AOE attack on the on uh, the other guys. Okay, now I can. Sweet. Man, with um with Jiraiya's debuff, I was able to deal 10k damage to the minions uh, with Hashirama's skill number one. So that's really nice. Hmm, let's see. I would like to use skill two, but um, I'm kind of risking it. Yeah, I'm not going to do it. Because Kabuto actually hurts a lot if, you know, if your defense is low. So 
So now we just have to, you know, really grind this out. Um, see, even with the 150% uh, defense buff, he takes out half of my HP with just one hit, right? Let's see. Yeah, I'm just going to use skill 2 and give it a try. Hopefully he's not going to attack my Gara. And then now I can buff ourselves again. Oh no, my Naruto is paralyzed now. Oh my goodness, he heals back more than I actually, uh, you know, more than the damage I actually dealt to him. Okay. So you see right now we're at 67 turns, pretty pretty tough to um, actually get it within 70 turns so the team I used to get 70 turns uh, is actually actually the same except for uh, the friend I used Madara on him uh, because Madara's um, captain ability it actually increases your team's defense by Sorry, sorry, my bad. Not even concentrating. He actually increases your team's attack by 30%, alright? And, uh, <coughs> excuse me. And he does insane amount of AoE damage, right? 7% plus 1,000 to the whole team as well. So, you know, I took Madara with me and I was able to uh, clear it. So hopefully you guys have, you know, better team comp than I do. So you guys can actually clear it much faster. Almost dead, but he just keeps recovering as you can see. Every time I deal some sort of damage, he recovers. Alright, also guys, one last tip, um, if if you guys are planning to use Ninja Stone to uh, continue, like let's say to try to burst him down and your team dies and tries to uh, continue to, to complete the battle within 70 turns, only use your Ninja Stones uh, when you guys are quite sure you guys are going to complete it within 70 turns, alright? If let's say you're at 55 turns. Uh, already and he's like half health so you still only have like what 15 turns left and your whole team dies maybe in that situation just try to you know um, try to know if you're gonna be able to burst him down within the next 15 turns if you're not going to be able to do it then don't spend your ninja stone all right because that's gonna lead to a waste because let's say you spend a ninja stone and you didn't calculate your cost and then it actually takes you like a hundred turns to actually kill him then you've wasted your own ninja stone all right so don't do it unless you're pretty certain all right or unless you're willing to take a risk um so oh nice monkey king 
So if let's say you're at like what 25 turns and your whole team died and he only had like what 50% or less HP left, so that means you know maybe you just need 30 or 40 more turns to kill him. Then at that time, uh, if you feel really safe, then use your Ninja Stone to continue. All right. If you feel like it's a huge risk, then don't do it. All right. So yeah, that's it. That's how you beat it. I no one on my team died. And I was able to achieve the S rank rating, but I could not complete it within 70 turns. All right, for 70, uh, for trying to complete it within 70 turns, you probably need uh, someone else. All right, I recommend someone with high damage or AOE ability, or you know, captain's ability passive uh, that increases your attack power and. In my case, I chose Madara, all right? And I'm so sorry, guys, uh, for this whole video. If it sounds, you know, that I'm really in a hurry, I'm rushing things, and uh, I'm, you know, stuttering a lot, and I'm making you guys wait during the uh, the section where I choose friends and stuff. And it's because I actually, uh, today, I actually only have, like, one hour uh, in my room before I have to go out for the whole day and I actually want to uh, upload this video for you guys as soon as possible because uh, this Kabuto event as you can see uh, will only last for one day and 14 hours right and if I don't do it within this one hour time frame I'm not gonna be able to do it until let's say tomorrow and it only have to be like a few hours left and it will be meaningless to you guys so I want to get it out ASAP so you guys can actually see it so I'm sorry I don't have the time to actually edit my video today so you know lots of mistakes I've been stuttering a lot and uh, stuff like that I, I apologize I hope you guys you know uh, still enjoyed it thank you so much for your patience I'm sorry for not being able to edit the video for you guys and uh, making you guys wait through different sections like you know the choosing the friends part the loading screens etc i apologize uh but please know that i'm doing it for good intentions i just want you guys to get it asap and in hopes that it'll help you guys out with the kabuto missions all right so hopefully you guys can s rank everything get you know uh all the criteria you guys uh want and I will try my best to work on the, the Minato mission ASAP as well. Uh, again, I need to leave like right now. So I'm just going to throw it up on YouTube, upload it, and I'll, I'll read your comments when I'm free again, when I'm back home. And then hopefully you guys don't have to wait too long for the Minato event. All right. So take care. Uh, thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you um, at my next video. Bye now.